Hi guys, welcome back to another Civil 3D video in five minutes. Um, this is gonna teach us how to create a custom point file format. So let's think of a scenario here. So typically I get files that are in PNEZD format and that stands for point, northing, easting, Z is elevation and D is description. Well, I recently have a new client and that client doesn't shoot elevation. They're just shooting for location. They don't care about elevation. So they're giving me files that only have a point number, northing, easting, no elevation, and a description. So besides just putting in a blank space or nothing there for the elevation, what I could do is actually create a custom file format so I don't have to modify their file at all. I could just bring it right in. So to do that, I always go and stay. It's better to start from something than nothing. So I'm going to find myself on the settings tab right here and go to point file format. And then I'm going to come over to here where it says PNEZD comma delimited. So um, most of my files I always create or get are CSV files. So um, the comma delimited is pretty much the aspect of that file. So, um, so for the ASCII 2 file, it's usually a CSV, which is separated by commas, not spaces. So I'm going to copy this one. So to copy it, I'm just going to click on it, right click and go to copy. Now, when you click on copy, it opens it right up and it's going to show you a bunch of different options here. So just understanding these options real quick. First things first, let's modify the point file format name, which again, point northing easting description. Perfect. That doesn't make it so, but it will help us. Uh, again, delimited by what? Right now, if you notice, it's a comma. Perfect. Now, do I want it to transform to a coordinate system? This is actually kind of cool. So if you had lats and longs and you want those lats and longs automatically converted into, you know, NAD 83 or something along those lines, you can check this box here so that whenever you get that type of format, it automatically converts it into northings and eastings on NAD 83. That's up to you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, see where it says elevation. Um, first of all, I'm going to go to raw description though. And I'm going to go to unused. Now, if you look at invalid indicator, there's nothing in there. So um, I'm going to scroll to the top and go to unused and hit OK. Now, with that being unused, I'm going to click here and then switch myself to raw description. Now, I'm going to erase out that and hit OK. This here is exactly what I want. If you notice, it's point number, northing, easting, and raw description. So just like I want, P-N-E-D, comma, perfect, hit OK. And that's honestly as hard as it is to create a custom format. The hard part, honestly, in this little thing right here is just knowing that to get raw description to appear, you have to take it off of the other tabs. So all these should say unused at the end. You don't want to have an unused in here. I don't know if that causes a problem. It just my OCD won't allow it. So I'm going to hit OK here and let's just test the file, right? So I'm going to import some points. All right, so I put some points on my desktop to make it easier for me to grab. So let's go to points here. Let's go to import points. Um, let's click the little plus sign here. And uh, that's the last job I worked on. Let's go to the dash tap. And let's find this file right here. So I just called it new Microsoft worksheet. Let's double click there. Now, when it comes in, it's going to give you every point format that matches it. But again, none of them are really going to be perfect. This one doesn't really, you know, nor easting is one, probably not. But this one right here is it right here. So again, point, northing, easting, and description. We're going to hit OK. And again, it puts the points in. We'll zoom extents. Oops. Z, enter, E, enter. There we go. Didn't slam on that. And there's all the points in the drawing. Now, again, just real quick, a lot of people get worried. Hey, there's no descriptions. And when I regen, they're not there. Well, it may be that all points right here is set to display nothing. So make sure you set that to standard, hit apply, hit OK, and voila, you'll be back to the races. Also note, again, your scales here may vary, so make sure you change up those scales. So again, this is how to create a custom point file format for Civil 3D. It works for all versions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe below, and as always, Keep checking back for more videos as I'm just going to keep cranking these guys out on just quick five minute tutorials on how to do little tasks in Civil 3D. And then eventually we'll put them all together to create one big task. It'll be amazing. Stay tuned.